back to my channel. Today we are going to be unboxing my first garage kit. And I'm really curious how this is going to turn out. I'm kind of nervous, but like in a good way. It's a pre-painted garage kit. Now, I do wanna say that I think, well, I'm pretty sure that this is unlicensed. I don't know, there is a garage kit on My Fair Collections website that looks like this. There's a Chuya one and a Dazai one. We're unboxing Chuyas today. I did, however, uh, pre-order Dazai's, but I think I was going to wait until he came in to unbox both of them both at the same time, but I think he doesn't come in until like months later. There is a website and I think, I think they recreate garage kits and they sell them either painted or unpainted. And the website is, God, I forgot the name of the website. Oh, it's not even on here. I don't know. I will put, I will put the website's name on here. So I think, I think the, the figures that they sell are unlicensed, I'm pretty sure. It's unlicensed, but it is a garage kit of Chuya and I'm super excited and curious and nervous and everything under the sun to see how this turns out. So um, please make sure you like and subscribe and let me know what you think in the comment section below. Let me know if you've ordered from this company as well. I'd like to know your experience with them. This is my first time ordering from them ever. So here we go. Also, I know the box says gathering on it, but I don't. that's not the website or the company I ordered it from. I think, I don't, I don't know how this works. I don't know what the gathering means. Um, but anyways, okay, here we go. Okay, so first up, this is how it looks inside the box. Uh, all the pieces have their own little section. This is similar to how the resin figures kind of come. Uh, so first up, I have his hand. Okay, what's in this big circle? Oh, we got his base here. All right, so we got just a plain base. Mine does have kind of a little imperfection on it, a little chip or a little scratch. Hopefully when I place the figure on there, that's gonna be the back. I'm always kind of impressed with these resin or like unlicensed bases. They're always pretty sharp and sleek and I don't know, kind of like a more than I like the, all the like licensed figures that I have back here. Um, and then this is his sleeve. Now the other resin figures that I have have like a magnet inside some parts of the figures when you put them together. I don't, I don't know if these ones or this figure has that. So that's the other sleeve. We got, we found the other hand. And then we just have the second tier over here. I'm guessing this is where the body is. There's like wrapping inside of wrapping. Exciting, <laughs> inside of wrapping. Here is his head. <gasps> okay, moment of truth. Okay, you know what? <laughs> he looks so unbothered. <laughs> Does he not look so tired of <laughs> everyone's shit right now? He's winning the I don't give a fuck war. He looks pretty. He looks very pretty. Oh, this is so exciting. Like there is like wrapping like everywhere for like these foam thingies. Oh, here are his legs. Oh my God. Okay, well first here's the little apple. And it's got like a little peg sticking out. I think that goes through his hand. I didn't see if his hand had a hole in it. So here's the apple. I don't see a hole in his hand where you can put the peg on the apple through on his hand so I'm I'm gonna have to look at the instructions for that that's interesting okay and then I mean call Chuya short but this man has got legs for days look at that <laughs> look at that look at this walk Dude's a whole runway model. Look at his shoes. I love the way his shoes. Okay, no, save your thoughts for later. Um, he does have metal pegs instead of plastic ones, which is nice. I think uh, these will feel more secure on the base or on his torso as well. He's got his belt. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Okay, then we have like his whole top half. Now in other resin figures, when I've unboxed them or resin or unlicensed figures when I've unboxed them, uh, typically the coat came separate or come separate, whatever, um, where you would just kind of just put it on top of his shoulders. But I, I get it, this is like, the side of his coat is off shoulder. Um, 
but I like it. I like that it's already connected. It It's secure on there. I don't have to worry about it falling off or like worrying whether I have it secure on there enough. Um, so look at that. Oh my God. I am obsessed with Chuya's waist. Oh, look at that. That's Okay. Now we are going to put them together. I think it would have worked either way, but I did get to have the chip in the back. <laughs> Look how cool he looks. He doesn't even have his head on. Okay. <laughs> Next, we will put on the apple. I'm curious to see how this is supposed to go on there. The apple says it's supposed to, or the apple says. The instructions say it's supposed to go on his open hand, but there's no like hole put the peg through it oh yes there is it's literally on the side there oh my god that was so hidden i'm impressed oh okay and now for the finale the last piece she has a beautiful beautiful face are y'all ready for this imagine i just drop it okay wait i gotta make this <laughs> i gotta make this look good wait Okay, wait. God damn it, Chia. Alright, well, <laughs> I tried to make that look as graceful as possible, and I failed, <laughs> clearly. I think the head is, the neck is magnetic, so he kind of wobbles. But, anyways, I'm sure he'll be fine um, if I don't grab him from his head. But here we go. Okay, this serving cunt y'all first off my favorite 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 part of this figure is the overall like aesthetic and pose and just like i mean he is so this figure grabs so much attention i i don't know how how do i describe i don't know how to describe how much I love this pose and this walk he's doing. This is such a Chuya pose. I've said it before in other like Chuya resin figures that I've unboxed. Chuya just has this like powerful dynamic. He like takes up all the space in the room when he walks in sort of like in the show and in these figures and I, I like eat it up every freaking time. He looks so, so good, so confident, so powerful. Um, I mean, look at that walk. That is insane. Straight from the way he tilts his head to the way his arms are spread to the way his coat is flowing. I mean, look at that. Insane. Down to the way his like toes are pointing <laughs> up. Like every part of him looks so powerful and he's taking up so much attention and so much space. I... I am absolutely in love with this. Shading wise, shading and paint wise, I would say, I think it's great. I mean, it's, it is a garage figure and then I'm trying to keep in mind that on top of it being a garage kit, it's also an unlicensed figure. But to counter that, the other um, Bungo Stray Dogs resin figures that are unlicensed that I own have much better shading, I think, than this one. But again, I've said it with like different figures I've unboxed. I think I can look past it if the figure itself kind of steers you away from looking at all that stuff. He steers my attention away from all that. I'm just focusing on him and 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 this figure in its entirety. In terms of the face, now I always say that I usually really like, I usually prefer figures to have the same face as they do in the series and this one kind of is is obviously off it doesn't look like chuya in the anime or really chuya in the manga but i don't know what it is i actually i really like it nonetheless even though it's far from like the you know original art style again he's got more of like an illustrative look to him right like a very artsy elegant kind of look rather than just like an anime big eyed <laughs> Look, I, that's the only way I can like explain it. So hopefully you get what I'm saying. The thing about Chia too is that you can put him in any situation, in a lot, any situation, a lot of different clothing, a lot of different art styles, and he just turns out so beautifully no matter what. It all matches him. Uh, I think with Dazai, it's a little bit, 
it, it's a hit or miss sometimes. God, he is such a fun, cool character. I, I, I think, oh, I'm speechless. I love him so much. I do like that he has some shading in his hair too. Um, I do like the color of his hair. There is a different figure that I unboxed uh, that was a resin statue. It was the duo black one where even though I liked Chuya's um, figure on there, I didn't like how orange his hair was. The orange on the hair on that figure had more yellow to it, whereas I, th I think Chuya is supposed to have more red to the orange in his hair. Does that make sense? So I think they did a fantastic job with the shading on his hair on this one. Like, I, I feel like his hair is, is such a big part of who he is. Um, some may argue it's his hat which it also is a very huge part. But beside his hat, like if you were to take off his hat, his hair is very much a huge part of who he is. He's had it cut, he's had it um, long, short, whatever. Uh, but the color I feel like is very important and should always remain the same. I was going to say that it looks kind of weird because the apple looks like it's floating in the air and he's not actually holding it. Then I remembered his ability is literally gravity manipulation, so duh. <laughs> So I actually like that more, like more than him actually hanging on to the apple. So I'm, I'm really glad I caught that and didn't make a fool of myself right now. My boy slays so hard. I love him so much. This makes me so excited to get Da's eyes and of course display them next to each other. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, all in all, I love, I love this figure. I am absolutely obsessed with it. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you think in the comment section below. Let me know if you ordered one and let me know if you ordered Da's Eyes too. And um, I will see you in the next video, which is hopefully, hopefully soon. Bye-bye guys. <laughs>